Welcome back to the channel Panther Schools. My name is Amit Singh and you must have watched the previous video where we talked about uh, we are going to launch a series related to Salesforce plus WhatsApp integration. So this is going to be the very first video where we will talk about how we can set up our Facebook account to use it for our Salesforce plus Millsoft integration. Not Millsoft, Salesforce plus WhatsApp integration. So the very first thing that you need to do is give it a like and subscribe the YouTube channel. Yeah, that's that's what uh, you have heard it right. Now let's quickly start by setting up our Facebook account. So what you need to do is just open your browser and type this URL developers.facebook.com. Once you open this URL, this is something the screen that you will see. Okay, once you click on this. You see this screen click on this my apps this is the word that you have to click on this is the menu that you have to click on as I'm already logged in and I'm sure most of you will already be logged in so this is going to be the URL for you I'll put that URL in the description as well in the first comment of the video so what you have to do is first thing we have to click on this create app which is the green button Click on that create app then it is going to ask what kind of application you wanted to use either it is a business consumer instant gaming sorry instant gaming or gamings workspace academic or none okay we have to select business account click on that business and then next what should be the name okay so i'll say salesforce plus millsoft sorry guys for uh, using Millsoft again and again Salesforce plus WhatsApp this is my name we don't have any business account we don't want in this to be related to any business account okay we'll go ahead and click on create app WhatsApp is not allowed okay so let's quickly have Salesforce demo click on create app okay now it is asking the password for me it might also ask the password for you go ahead provide the password and then it will take you to the application page so yes you did created the application now we are here into the application page next thing what we have to do is if you see that there are products it is saying that add products to your application so what we have to do is we have to scroll down find out this whatsapp and click on setup once you click on setup this is something which we are going to see it is saying create or select a meta business account so this is the default option i also have one test business but i'm not going to uh, use that i'll show you keep this option as selected create a business account and click on continue so once you click on continue it is going to take you to the dev console of your whatsapp where you will see there is a temporary access token this is the access token which you can use to make the api calls then you will see send and receive messages under that there you see there is a step one which says that this is your number this is your number by using which you are going to send the email and this is your phone number id this is your whatsapp business account id you will be using this phone number id most of the time and then under two i don't have any phone number over here so what we have to do is we have to click on this manage phone number list and then select your country mine is India I'll select my country and then I have to provide the name sorry not name the number to which I wanted to send this applic send the messages to as this is a sandbox or for us so we have to provide the phone number so just go ahead provide the phone number and click on next once you provide the phone number and click on next it is going to send a verification to your whatsapp number make sure that this is the whatsapp number that you are providing provide the verification code received on your whatsapp number then click on next once you click on next you will see that your number will be populated over here once your number is populated over here there is a step two which is saying that send message with the api so what you can do is you can just click on send message and you can see message is successfully sent and you will receive a message with the world called hello world in bold and then you will say welcome and congratulations this message demonstrate your ability 
to send a message notification from WhatsApp business platform Cloud API. Thank you for taking the time to test with us. So this is the message that you will be receiving out there. Now, if you wanted to send other messages, what you have to do is you have to reply to the same message. You can reply with a simple word. It could be hi, hello, thank you, could be any word. If you don't reply, you will not be able to use any other API of your WhatsApp. So this is a very simple trick to make this API work. If you're not utilizing that, you will get into the errors that, okay, if you send the message to this API using this particular content, you are able to receive the message. But if you are trying to send some un another messages, you will not receive the message. Okay. And then next is that you have a run in postman. If you click here, it is going to give you the complete collection for your Facebook API, which you can Facebook API means WhatsApp API, which you can use for your testing purpose. So this is it for this video, how we set up our Facebook account, how we integrate our WhatsApp with the, our developer application, which we have created within Facebook. Thank you for your time. And uh, before you go ahead, please give it a like, subscribe and put your thoughts into the comment section, what you are looking from this series. Thank you.